back to this breaking news yeah. and the seven on your side investigators getting results. Governor Hochul just signed a new bill a few moments ago that would make it more difficult for people to quote unquote squat in a home that does not belong to them. Yeah, New York lawmakers took action this weekend, voted in favor of changing the law after a series of seven on your side investigations. And any investigation our seven on your side team does is a great one. But when there's actual change mm -hmm. happening because of it so quickly, mm -hmm. it's just, uh, it feels so good to see it. Dan, you've been working so hard on this and new developments today. It is crazy. We launched our first squatter investigation right here in Morning to 10 just a few weeks ago, mm -hmm. and we're already seeing some pretty big changes. In just the past five days, our investigations led to an accused squatter getting criminally charged in court, and now lawmakers voted to change state law. Take a look. Announce the results. Eyes 102, nose 43. The bill is passed. Over the weekend, both the state assembly. The bill is passed. And the state senate passed the new bill. It's a small change lawmakers say will have a big impact. A huge impact on so many people who are suffering through squatting scenarios. They voted to change the state's property law, stating a tenant shall not include a squatter. They say it will make it easier for police to intervene in cases when someone enters a home without permission or legal paperwork instead of having to take them to housing court. If we don't voice these issues like this in the news, then none of this may have ever elevated to being a part of the New York State budget just three weeks after the reporting you did here. We've reported on numerous cases of accused squatters, including one that was criminally charged last week in Queens. After our reports, at least four lawmakers filed anti-squatting legislation, which led to a last-minute compromise over the weekend. What do you think it is that pushed this over the edge? This was added in the last few days. It was the voices of so many of your viewers, my constituents, everyone from across New York State. After we did the story last time, I got hundreds of calls from individuals who said they were finally being heard. I have the new state law right here, and since the governor signed it, it means it can go into effect immediately. So that means police can start using it in cases throughout the state of New York. So what does change right now? Well, as of right now, if someone moves into your home, a stranger in the middle of the night with any lease or claim to your property, police can arrest them possibly for trespassing instead of having to take them through housing court, which has been happening for the last few years. So they're immediately out of your house. This is not a tenant who overstayed his or her welcome, who didn't pay rent. This is somebody, a random person who went into your home and started living there. You can get them out. Yeah, because the number one question everyone asks me is, why can't you arrest them for trespassing? Mm -hmm. But since someone says if they're a squatter, they say, I'm a tenant here for 30 days. Once police heard the word tenant, they'd automatically, by law, have to send you to law, housing court. So that will no longer happen. There's another case that you brought us originally, that home that was an inheritance, it was a $2 million dream home in Queens. That case is still playing out in courts. How will this law affect that? It'll be in court later this week. It probably won't affect it that much because that case is much more complicated. And the person who was accused of squatting lived and worked for so the former homeowner who passed away. Previous relationship. Right, so that's not a clear-cut squatter case that would not be affected by the state law. But the second case that we had reported on where the woman was in handcuffs at yeah. the end of the day, that could this law could have had implications of that case immediately. Mm. This is a national problem. Is this yeah. going to be the template for the whole country? I mean, this is something that has reverberated. This has been going on state to state. I mean, coast to coast. It really has, and I've been talking to reporters at all of our ABC stations across the country. This is a problem in every state. So far, two states have done something about it. New York now, top of the list, and Florida. We'll see what happens next. Yeah, no doubt. And, and by the way, so many great reports. Thanks for coming. I know you're super Thank busy, you so, so for updating this. But if you want to get up to date with all these reports, you can go right now. All the reporting on this topic. And if you'd like to weigh in, too, we have an opportunity for you to do that. Let us know your story. ABC7NY.com. Head to the site and then click on the tab 7 on your site and Investigates. Catch up on all the coverage, and you can also let us know what you think and what you're going through. Dan, thanks so much, man. Great work. So much hard work. Thank Amazing. you for staying on this. Teamwork. Unbelievable. Teamwork. Fantastic.